introducing first, fight out of the red corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighted at a fight time at 234 pounds. Fighting out of Lincoln Heights, California, representing the yard Muay Thai, this is Edgar Barbary. And introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the black corner, he says six feet two inches tall, weighted at fight time at 233.6 pounds. Fighting out of Torrance, California, representing Brew 9, this is Anthony, the Samoan Thor Taufi! All right, fans, I have only one advice for you. Fasten on your seatbelts because this one is going to be some big, powerful action. Here we go for round number one. Fighters already letting those hands go. And the speed of these guys for being this weight, moving very effectively with some big hands. A little push. The Samoan Thor trying to lay down the hammer right off the get-go. Pushed Barberry down. Got admonished by referee Mark Reyes. Both fighters returned back to their feet. Barberry connected with the looping right hand to the temple of Thor. Worked the body. Back and forth action we go. Left hook. He has the Samoan Thor backing away who answers back with his feet. Look at this. Back and forth battle. You got to love it. Fighters rep 20. A nice head kick by Toffee. And Toffee letting those hands go. Bar Barbary trying to fight out of the corner. And Barbary couldn't let those hands go as well too at fighters rep 17. He knocked out Jorge Aquino in the first round due to a crushing combination of punches. So once he strings them together, it's trouble. Working the body of Samoan Thor, Anthony Taufi, who's making his kickboxing debut, looking comfortable in there so far in the first. They both look very, very smooth, very well composed. And we're seeing just beautiful technique from these big guys. Of course, we see that crushing power from both of them, especially at this weight. Straight rights connecting from Taufi, punctuating the round with a great finish. He might have stole it right there. I think he did with that nice rally towards the end. Beautiful finish between these big guys. You know, a lot of times you see these large heavyweight fighters and they're punching very slow, but these guys are moving like middleweights and I like the action that I see. Yeah, fast hands. Neither guy is body beautiful, but they kind of remind me of Andy Ruiz a little bit. Professional boxing, former unified heavyweight champion. Andrew Ruiz has some of the fastest hands in professional boxing at the heavyweight division. And both of these fighters have some of the fastest hands we've seen in recent memory at Fighters Rep. Oh, absolutely. Great matchup between this. And, of course, we had to put our hats out to George Francis, our promoter, matchmaker, for coming up with fights like this because every match here is so evenly contested. Man, oh, man, I'm just excited to be here. Absolutely, David. Credit to the matchmaking. Each fight is a coin flip fight, back and forth, tit for tat, seesaw, however you want to frame it. It is fun to see. It is fun to be a part of, an, a part of the action. Just privileged to be here. Look at these guys. They're letting those hands go. Fun fight so far. Perhaps the fight of the night. Definitely on the short list so far. Toffee's just letting those hands go. Shooting that cross over the top. Barbary is able to sneak in that punch over the top there also. But then Toffee is just sitting down on his punches. Grabbing those knees. Walking in with those knees. Uppercuts. Smothering Barbary with a bunch of leather. Terrific sequence there by Talfi. I think we have a mouthpiece that flew out of the mouth of Edgar Barbary. 
Definitely a sign of fatigue when the mouth starts to open and the mouthpiece starts to fall. Well, both these fighters are exerting a lot of energy. But of course, it's that volume that you need here in kickboxing. On Fighters Rep 20, the action resumes. Here we go. And they could go for those quick sprints because these rounds are at two minutes apiece. And each fighter is letting it all go. But Talfi, everything working remarkably so far. Throw that amateur MMA record out the window. Perhaps kickboxing is what's in store for him. Look at this sequence. We're about to have a standing eight count. Referee Mark Reyes says, enough. I'm going to give you a count of eight. Let you regroup. Get your senses back together. Terrific sequence there by Anthony Samoan Thor Talfi here in round two. Nice head kick there. You know, Edgar Barbary, a very, and there it is. Referee Mark Reyes says enough of the one-sided domination. Anthony Taufi, your winner by second round stoppage. And rightfully so. I mean, he rocked Barbary. Barbary was a little bit loose on his feet. And again, it's for the safety of our fighters. Great job there by Anthony Toffey. And you see him sitting down, long punching straight, using his range very effectively. I like the way that when he had his opponent covering up, he goes and just fires that walk knee in there. And boom, letting those hands go. And also the fact that Toffey is able to throw those high kicks too. Really making a vertical target out of Edgar Barbary. And then we see Barbary there on a little bit of wilted feet. And boom, that punch comes over the top. And they say, hey, Mark Reyes starts a fight for the fighter's safety. And we have a TKO victory for Anthony Toffey. Terrific stoppage there by referee Mark Reyes. And who would have thought that Anthony Toffey making his kickboxing debut would have just ran through Edgar Barbary, who brought a 7-3 amateur kickboxing record into the ring five and four in amateur mma and just demolished them in this fight credit to anthony talfi i cannot wait to see him back in the fighters rep ring well the samoan thor showed his hammer tonight All right, five fans, let's make this one official. At one minute and 46 seconds of round number two, your referee, Mark Reyes, stops the bout. Declare your winner by TKO from the black corner, Anthony, the Samoan Thor Taufi. All smiles there for the Samoan Thor, Anthony Telfi. <laughs> and oh. there's that golden smile. All right, I'm with your winner, Anthony Telfi. Anthony, what an amazing debut here in the Lions Den. How you feeling, brother? Oh, good, good, good. Uh, Uh, Edgar, Edgar's a good opponent. I never doubted him at one point. Dude got some heavy ass hands, you know? And uh, first of all, I want to thank God. You know, he's been with me through this whole entire training camp, this whole transition into a, be a, a better person, a stronger man, and definitely a greater fighter. I want to thank my coach. Both my coaches, Anthony, we all got the same name. Team Brew 9, baby. I want to thank my family for coming out, my beautiful girls. You know, we in here. You know, uh, Let's talk about the fight. First of all, I've seen Edgar fight many times for our promotion, one of the standouts here in the heavyweight division. But one thing about Edgar I've always admired about him for a heavyweight, he fights like a lightweight, throws punches and bunches. 
Then you show up and you throw just as many punches in a row. You throw punches and punches, beautiful leg kicks. How does a guy your size move so fast? I don't know, what do you think about that? I'm impressed. It doesn't matter what you Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh, no, I got pulled on that one. I got pulled on that one. No, no, love it, brother. Love it, love it. Again, very impressive debut here. What does the future hold for you here in the Lions Den? I mean, whatever y'all got, bro. You know what I mean? From 235 and heavier. If somebody in the back in the 220s wants some, I'll drop some more and get it. It's nothing. Woo. There you go. Now, again, you have some great fans, friends, family here, your little girls back out there. Do well, you have any last words you want to give them? Oh, yeah, of course. There's, there's no meaning. I mean, there's no words I can say. You know, they're here to support, and that's all the love I see. So thank you, guys. There you go. And thank you once again, Anthony Telfie.